Hello everyone, and uh, welcome, uh, welcome back to Armored Warfare. Uh, last video we did the LAV-150, but I noticed that there's no, like, there's unlimited garage slots, so I kind of bought everything back, including my t tier 1, so I'm going to do a review, kind of, of the M. 113. The tier 1 for. What is this? This is that wolf. You, whatever. The blue people. Call them blue people. Um. Upgrades. Upgrades. Not that many upgrades. Uh. We can look at its stock. I think you can. No, I guess you can't. Alright, well, I could do this though. You get the uh, 20 millimeter 204 GK auto cannon at first. 30 rounds, and each salvo damage is 20. Uh, penetration is 58. Speed is 1200 meters per second I guess that's the velocity of the round with 300 rounds per minute accuracy of 0.16 reload time of 2.5 seconds oh, wait that's targeting time oh so that's aim time sorry reload time is 6 seconds stock ammo is the 20 millimeter DM 13 APC and doesn't have any upgraded ammos max elevation oh I guess that's how high you could Pull the gun up. It's 48 degrees, I think. Cannon depression negative three to negative six, or three to six degrees of gun depression, depending on wherever you're looking. Um, let's see what else is there. 20 millimeter CAD uh, B13-3, which allows you to get the APDS armor piercing discarding sabo ammo for your uh, new gun and the new gun I think you can like no you can't um it it's exactly the same 20 millimeter 30 rounds except just one more point of damage and it has better penetration by six six same rate of same accuracy same reload same uh aiming time same rate of fire although it does get this ammunition instead of the dm13 apc and you have an upgraded engine you have a 6v53t diesel engine which is of course the better one because it is although it just improves your acceleration then you have shock absorbers and tension bars, which is durability of the system, Tra increases tracked vehicle traverse speed. Okay, so better traverse speed and better, like, tracks, maybe? I, I don't know. Standard technology, although it does get troop compartment, which you can't unequip, so... I guess I'm pretty sure it was already on there. Everything down this line is normally what is automatically on top of the or on the uh, tank itself. Or this isn't a tank. This is a uh, armored fighting vehicle. That's what they call it instead of an infantry fighting vehicle. Technology. We we already went over that, didn't we? All right. So this is it. And ammo, why do I have that? I have equipped a 20mm KAD, so I want this. Uh, here's, well, I've, everyone knows where the, what this does, where you choose your ammo and stuff. So, the APC is an armor piercing incendiary shell so you have a better chance of lighting things on fire 64 millimeters penetration 21 damage 
And then the upgraded ones aren't incendiary, but you get five millimeters more penetration and one extra point of damage. Stats of the vehicle. Well, this is just an overall thing. I believe, here we go, details as well. Now, I believe this is it with it fully upgraded. Now, this is with the 20 millimeter DM63 APDS, which is this, right? Yeah, alright, so this is it upgraded with, with whatever I have, which includes crew skills like, what is this, firing on the move and stuff? Yeah, smooth ride, increase accuracy while on the move, and my reload time has been reduced. So, which is the best one? What would you look at? We'll just go over this one real quick. Uh, 22 damage per shell. Average, 69 millimeters of pen. Damage per minute is 3,479 damage, or DPM. Hole, 38 in the front. 45 in the side and 38 in the rear. Whoa, really? I think it's better armor on the side than in the front. Made out of military aluminum, which in real life the M113 was a real. It was a great vehicle, but I'll get onto the history of it later. Hull modifiers AP is 0.9, so I guess that's like damaged up. Turret seven millimeters all around, but it has a whole bunch of modifiers. And max speed 57.6 kilometers. Camouflage view range is 465, but I'm pretty sure it's less because I have the vigilant uh, perk. Reload time is 5.58 seconds instead of what six seconds because I have the crew upgrade and I believe there's something for the commander maybe targeting time is 2.19 seconds and accuracy and I'm a bit more accurate with uh, 0.15 instead of 0.16 here's the armor thing I don't know why it's always angled like that but AP versus HE just don't get hit by anything. AP does your turret armor is 12 millimeters all around. Your hull is 34 in the front, 41 in the sides, and 34 in the rear. Against HG, the hull I believe stays the same. Just the turret goes up by two millimeters all around, and a shape charge is the same as AP. History about the M. 113. Alright, here we go. So the M113 is a fully tracked armored personnel character developed by Food Machinery Corps, or FMC. Uh, it was the first field, it was first fielded by the United States Army uh, in Vietnam in April of 1962. It was the most widely used armored vehicle of the United States Army in the Vietnam War and it was nicknamed the Green Dragon which you can unlock that title in the game and was used to break through heavy thickets in the midst of the jungle and overrun enemy positions. Uh, it was also known as a armored cavalry assault vehicle or an APC. It was and it had a new aluminum armor that made the vehicle much lighter than earlier vehicles. Uh, it was thick enough to pr uh, protect the crew and passengers against small arms, arms fire, but light enough that the vehicle was air transportable and moderately amphibious, so it could go into the water. And it's been replaced by the M2 and M3 Bradleys, but large numbers are still in... Uh, support roles such as ambulances and uh, mortar vehicles or engineer vehicles even a command vehicle the M113 was developed to provide a survivable and reliable light tracked vehicle able to be airlifted and airdropped by C130 and C141 
transport planes. Um, the original vehicle was only supposed to be used for transportation, like bringing the troops forward under armor and then having them dismount for combat and stuff. The M13 would retreat to the rear after doing that, probably. That's what I think it would do. Um, entering service in 1960 with the Army, it only needed two crewmen, a driver, and a commander, but in the game we have a, what, driver, a lo gunner slash loader, and a commander, probably because this is not uh, the first M113. Uh, looking at the chassis of the proposal type, it doesn't look the same as in game. It's got like a upper glacis and a flat part and then a lower glacis and in the game it's got an upper and a lower glacis. Uh, it was armed with a single 50 caliber M2 Browning machine gun which in the game it has a turret and also a 20 millimeter cannon. Alright so the armament of the M13 armored personnel carrier can be fitted with a number of weapons it started off with a single 50 caliber machine gun without a turret but in the game it's got a turret with a 20 millimeter cannon uh, yeah but it could be it was fitted with a 40 millimeter mark 19 automatic grenade launcher and a whole bunch of anti-tank weapons but it could have whoa it could have guns ranging from 20 millimeter or can high explosive cannon ranging from 20 millimeter to 105 millimeter cannon in the series. Uh, the armor is built uh, from aircraft quality aluminum alloy and it was the same strength as sh uh, steel. Uh, what can I say that word? Uh, but with a reduced weight as the uh, greater thickness of steel would allow structural stiffness. Uh, the M13 a3 was designed to provide protection against a uh, 7.62mm threat, like AKs and stuff. Uh, but this proved not to be enough when tested in combat, so uh, I don't know if it's a good thing to be in it. I I'm not sure. I guess this thing wasn't meant to hit mines or anything. Some of uh, the service history about it uh, in Vietnam, because that's of course where it was introduced. Uh, it was the first combat uh, opportunity for mechanized infantry in Vietnam. Uh, a new type. It's basically a new type of infantry with its roots in the armored infantry of World War II, but they're using the M113 armored personnel carrier. Uh, so Company D. 16th Armor, 173rd Airborne Brigade was the first U.S. Army unit deployed to Vietnam. It was originally consisted of three platoons of M113s and a platoon of self-propelled anti-tank systems. Uh, it, it was it, it was the only independent armor company in the history of the U.S. Army. Upon the company's arrival in Vietnam, a fourth line platoon was added that was equipped with M106 4.2 inch mortar carriers which were modified M113s. The Australian Army also used them in Vietnam. Uh, they had a T50 turret fitted fit, fit, fitted, fitted, fitted with uh, two 30 caliber Browning machine guns or a single 30 and 50 combination. The future of the M13 A3 fleet was planned to include a number of vehicles with high speed data networks and data transfer systems uh, which basically gave them a whole bunch of computers and software and other things uh, but the US Army stopped buying them in 2007 and they still have 6,000 of them remaining uh, but uh, Israel in 1967 captured some M113s from Jordan and they replaced them uh, with the M13A1 variant because I guess they guess they liked them. Uh, they took part in the Yom Kippur War in Operation Peace for Galilee. Alright, I'm just going to say the basic variants. Uh, the M113, which is apparently in the game, 
as the original version, but it's not. I think we have the uh, M113 Armored Cavalry Assault Vehicle, which had 50 cals and 7.7s. I actually don't know what variant this is, because none of these are actually the one in the game. So, uh, 15 variants have come off of the M113's design, which is insane. Well, that, that's kind of enough for history. Now, let's go on to some gameplay, which will be PvE, because I don't want to go in a PvP battle, because I'll be facing Tier 3s and get butt kicked. So, let's go now. Alright, well... Black Company, change of plans. Our plane's been hit. We need the intel from their hard drive about the lion. We Find are... Uh, the plane. Get the intel and see if there are any survivors. We're in the uh, PvE battle. 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 And, uh... Oh, he's dead. And this is it. It's, uh... Some speed is alright. Oh, let's take this dude. Man, 30 rounds are just amazing. Wait, what, where's the other one? Just don't get hit. I'm not normally playing my normal infantry fighting for you, but play. Ow. Yeah, ow, yeah, yeah, this is target. hurting. Let's oh, not. Thanks. Loader, Sabo. <laughs> Got him. If you go up against any main battle tanks, try and flank them. Or just run away. Whatever works for you. I like trying to flank and not dying in the process. Ready? Watch this accuracy. Intel was right. That's Boom. gotta be one of the SAM sites targeting our plane. Take what? them all out. What is with this what is this guy's accent? Is it a Russian accent? I don't even know. Uh oh, tier one main battle tank it doesn't even exist. Hey look, it's a pattern. Oh, he's one shot, man. Is he not dead? He ain't dead. Gun depression, why? Oh, I just missed. Oh, I just missed. Oh no. Gun elevation is good. Look at that. But gun depression. I think it's got more gun depression off the front. Right? It's got to. Let's check it real quick. Protect the plane. We've accessed the hard drive yeah. remotely, but need time to download the Sorry, I, I haven't even Protect been talking. This plane. game's already over. We've accessed the hard drive remotely, but need time to download the intel. All right, thanks for telling us that. Uh, let's go kill some more people while they're capping. These are probably, like, except for that guy in the M41. These guys are probably straight up just starting the game, like, a few minutes ago. Unless it's just Smurfs. <laughs> Ricochet. Watch out, the plane. Is this bug gonna happen? Alright, cool, there's no bug. Not only there's a bug, and it's like, protect the plane! Protect the plane! And I'm not even gonna repeat it a third time, because it's all it does. For a few minutes. Identify. Oh. I wonder, you, do you see that thing? Oh, Intel's been downloaded. oh I can't show you now, like but, uh... Watch out! Incoming! What is that sound <laughs> thing going right there? Alright, um, the, that, uh, look at the bottom left, at the very, very bottom, next to the speed indicator, 
that thing with the tank. Is that your camo rating? I think it is. Because it makes sense that that would be... What else is that meant for? When you stop moving, it goes up. When you start moving, it goes down. When you shoot, it goes down. What is it? I see for our triple, what we get? Some medals, teamwork. Shooter, hit at least 80% of the rounds. Yep. Blue star and the highest reputation for a vehicle. What did we do? We didn't do much. We did... Actually, I could probably just look at progression. Uh, two and a half K damage, 12 spots, and seven kills. Pretty average for a, uh, uh, I can't even speak. Pretty average for a PVE, kinda, kinda. Nice. Well, we have all this experience, which I don't even need, because I have it fully upgraded. Look at that, seven thousand, look. If you could put that into global reputation, please. I would love that. Alright, well, you don't really see much in that game, so let's go again. I don't know how many battles I'll do. Maybe I'll just do this last one because this is already a very long video. But this is kind of it's kind of it for what happens. You get like 3 PvE missions and that's it. It's got no armor, so if you get shot, you're not going to bounce anything. And you got a really good gun. Really good fast firing gun. And why are people in platoons? Why am I the only tier? <laughs> this is not fair. I'm the only tier one. They're probably like, wow, look at this new, new kid. I know this map. Or this half of the map. PvE maps are player map or maps that you play on versus PvP. PvP, but just shrunk down. So if you play a lot of PvE, you'll know the PvP maps. If that makes any sense. Like there's a bush up here on this hill where I go and sit. Uh, I'll show you. I'll show you. Actually, I can't. It's on the other side of the river. Actually, maybe I can. Maybe it is on the side of the river. Otherwise, the PLM will yeah, be it's on the side. It is on the side. I don't recommend the front door. All right, you want to see? Let's see if we can get into position first. Oh, that's not good. Oh. Hello. Pow 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 <laughs> okay, well he's dead. Alright. This is where I sit. In a PvP map. Right about here. Although, it's not working on this because I am spotted. But let's go. Let's run. I can't even pen this dude from the side. Ow! Oh, I bounced that shot. Sometimes you get lucky. You don't always bounce these shields. Let's ride. Ah! Okay, this is not the good thing to be doing. This is easy difficulty, man. Maybe it's because I'm so far away from my team, and whenever AI want to kill you, you will die. I don't even know who shot me. It's a trap! I don't even know how I was getting shot. I was. Oh wait, maybe that object down there killed me. Well, there goes that match. Well, okay then. Please tell me what tank I should take out next. I have almost. I have all the tier threes. Uh, I have every single tier four. Here, I'll show you what I have for this wolfy lady. All tier threes, and basically everything we, that you see with a star, 
except for the premium tanks I can take out. All of these, that, and that. These five, five, yeah, five. Those are the ones I can take out right now. But uh, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and I will uh, see you in the next video.